Hey guys, this is Justin of the Auto Expositor on this 6th of March of 2015. And it's been a while since I've <clears throat> actually sat down and made a video and said hello and everything. <laughs> um, I guess just, I've kind of been behind the scenes and whatnot just trying to um, work out what can be worked out over the past month or so with those who are looking to do so. Um, and how we can improve and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it has taken a lot of time uh, away from making videos, so I apologize for that. So I'd like to, you know, kind of get started back in the right direction and, and kind of speak a little bit about my, my opinion on it, you know. And I think maybe sometimes as a movement, I, I know we're... we're um, you know, a false flag movement, or, or like at least this community, this specific pocket is, you know, heavily involved in researching that stuff. But I think sometimes we might get a little lost in the definition of that, you know, and like the the hoaxers and stuff, and they keep calling us hoaxers, hoaxers, and you know, and maybe sometimes. Like, we should take a step back and take a look at the bigger picture of things. And it's not for all of them, because most of these staged events, they have obvious bigger motives behind them. You know, like Sandy Hook was for gun control, definitely. You know, the Ottawa one was for uh, increased police state and security in Canada, as well as the front against any type of, uh, quote-unquote, uh, extremism religiously. Um... So, I mean, they, they always have motives, motives behind them, and we, we should always, like, not even aside from the hoax themselves, but be looking at what the bigger picture is. Why are they doing these hoaxes? And, you know, I think the more we look at the bigger picture of things, the better we'll be able to identify hoaxes and all that kind of stuff. So... What I'd like to do today is take a look, and um, this will be the first of a two-part series on the hoax of alternative media, with this specific one being the Rebel Media channel on YouTube, and uh, they have a website as well. Now, I want to thank Dolores Flores before uh, anything on this. Um, she actually brought this channel to my attention, and I just want to I want to let you know, you guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed to her already, I highly recommend it. She has been um, a great voice, a strong, intelligent, um, balanced, well, and open voice um, in the past few months in this movement. Um, she has a great ability to make entertaining, uh, funny. Um, and informative videos. Um, she's able to put a lot of information into one, and really she has this touch that a lot of us sometimes we, we lack because we might, I'm, I'm myself included, like sometimes I, like a lot of my videos, you can't post that on Facebook, you know, like to your friends and family because you're going to listen to me and say, you know, because I'm, I'm heavily... You know, I will base my opinion in a lot of my videos on a, an anti-New World Order standpoint. And, I mean, she is an anti-New World Order, but the way that she puts it to the average person that is not aware to our community and what we stand for, um, she is a great person to that produces videos that people can really get behind, even if they're not from this movement. And I think that's really important to recognize and to stay connected with, because I know we're not we're, we're not going to be able to reach everybody and, and prove to people that false flags exist. Um, but we have the power because we have the knowledge that they do do these things to further a larger agenda. Um, and if we know that, then we should be able to support the people who can most effectively get this out outwards from our movement um, and not deal with well not uh, not to not deal with but look at focusing more towards the outwards as opposed to 
you know, inwards fighting, um, which is going to happen. We're all going to disagree. That's, you know, we have to do it at some point. If we don't, it, it just gets worse the next time, right? I mean, that's, that's cool. But I think the more that we focus now on getting out to the masses while we still have the time, um, the better. And I think Dolores has really strived on this. And uh, she's been doing a lot of different videos on many different topics in the past few months or the past few weeks, sorry, while we have been debating other things. Um, so, yeah, check her out. Please subscribe. And, um, yeah, check out her videos because they're very, very informative. Okay, so she did show me this Rebel Yell, which is, or the Rebel Yell, <laughs> the Rebel... A media channel on YouTube and basically what they're trying to tell you here now is that the only denial over the terrorist attack in Ottawa that took place in October is that it wasn't related to uh, jihadism well we know the difference of it it's a proven hoax this one is proven with three very very strong smoking guns and many other pieces of evidence to fall with that. And they're going to tell you, they're going to think that they can get away with acting like they're an alternative media, which my next video will prove that they are just as spurious as anything that's on the mainstream. And these guys are trying to tell you that this exists and that what you believe and what I believe has no place in the debate. So why don't you go on to that channel now, and I'm going to send you the link. It'll just be down below. I'm going to make a video further exposing these scumbags for the hoax alternative media that they are. And I think this is possibly one of the worst hoaxes and the most pertinent to brainwashing the masses and um, furthering the New World Order agenda. This is their next phase of news. How they get this out is to pretend like they are like us, um, real grass moose, grassroots movements um, that fight against the establishment powers that be. These guys are establishment, acting like they're private, um, and they're going to try and fool you. Well, guys, don't let this happen. This is something that we should be focusing on, especially in Canada. These guys think that they can just walk in here. This channel has been around for no more than a month. <laughs> and they already have, it's just over 3,000 or 3,500. I mean, Canada needs a better voice than this. And I hope myself, as well as many other people, will give them one.